there's a process in the workflow where the pathologists that are looking at the tissue for the testing downstream have to review the H and E's. So we're trying to, like I said, automate all those processes. So that initial diagnosis to order of these reflexive tests for this non-small cell lung cancer could happen within 24 hours. That's our very best case scenario, and hopefully we'll get more people to adopt that kind of workflow. Certainly, we know here in the laboratory that oncologists are waiting for that diagnosis for these patients that they're treating, and then there are different ways where they could potentially be placing the orders for this downstream testing, whether it's directly to a laboratory that performed the pathology or to another outside laboratory where they have to collect the blocks and then transport the blocks from that original pathology facility then to the testing lab. So there are a lot of different steps in the process that will add turnaround time for these patients. And we're just trying to look at this globally and improving on all those steps so we can get those actionable results to the patients as quickly as possible.